Hello, my name is James Fritz, and I'd like to welcome you to the online award ceremony for Visions 2022. Yes, that's right. Um, we're doing another uh, Visions exhibition with Ku's Art Museum uh, in cooperation with the foundation uh, at Southwestern Oregon Community College. Um, and we've had a wonderful uh, uh, outpouring of student work, uh, over 70 pieces uh, were delivered to the museum and the show is hung and everything is wonderful. Um, <clears throat> we were able to uh, jury the show uh, yesterday and so I'd be able, I was able to become familiar with all of the work in the show and I want to thank everyone for participating in the show. I'd like to do a as quickly as possible awards ceremony. First, we're going to do the, um, the ribbons, uh, the award winners in each grade, um, followed by the three overall prize winners. And those prize winners are getting a cash prize and they're also receiving um, a tuition waiver, a tuition scholarship to Southwestern <clears throat> Oregon Community College for two years. So it's a very wonderful prize to help promote the arts and to uh, show uh, high school students and the community how much we value um, um, art and the study of art here at Southwestern Oregon Community College. So without any further ado, I'm going to go right ahead and share my screen with you um, of the Visions <clears throat> Award winners. And so here we go. Um, Let's see. Okay, we're going to begin with the ninth grade award winners and move through them. Uh, in fourth place, ninth grade, we have this portrait of Wilbur Suit done in ink from Bandon High School. I don't have the names of the students um, to uh, provide you with. They are definitely hanging in the show, but it's probably a better practice for us to not have this out on the internet, uh, the individual names of students. In third place in ninth grade, a self-portrait uh, done in graphite and ink from Bandon High School. And in second place in the ninth grade category, healing, a graphite drawing from North Bend High School. And finally, the first place ribbon in ninth grade goes to unmistakable bond, graphite and ink drawing mixed media piece from Bandon High School. Congratulations, ninth graders. I want you to be uh, aware that there are still the overall, the three top overall prizes to be awarded at the end of this presentation. And so don't despair. Uh, there's still a chance for winning uh, at the end of this presentation. 10th grade award winners. Uh, in fourth place in 10th grade was the tear pot as a ceramic piece from Crater Renaissance Academy. In third place, from 10th grade, Distortion in Orange, a digital piece, a digital altered photography piece, again, from Crater Renaissance Academy. In second place in the 10th grade category, Unbearable, a mixed media piece from North Douglas High School. Um, many at the uh, museum thought this was a very strong piece and we're quite glad that it was an award-winning piece. And finally, first place in the 10th grade category, um, a collection of photography from um, uh, the Pendleton Roundup, but this cowboy photograph uh, from Winter Lakes High School won first place in 10th grade. Moving on to the 11th grade award winners. In fourth place in 10th grade, we have Metal Portrait, a mixed media painting from Crater Renaissance Academy. In third place, we have Mother Stranger Danger, an ink uh, piece, uh, a drawing from Bandon High School. Uh, in second place, 11th grade, Untitled, uh, a very large format acrylic nude partial nude from Marshall High, Marshfield High School. And this is an incredibly challenging piece. So we wanted to uh, congratulate that person in particular. And in first place in the 11th grade category is Who Am I? 
an acrylic uh, piece from Myrtle Point High School that dealt with some mental health matters and was a very arresting, uh, timely topical piece. And now moving on to the, uh, the, 11, the 12th grade winners. I beg your pardon, that last one was a, a, an 11th grade winner. The 12th grade winners now in this category. Fourth place, 12th grade, we have Self Portrait, an acrylic piece from Crater Renaissance Academy. In third place, 12th grade, Lustrous Life acrylic painting from Bandon High School. In second place in the 12th grade category, Bitter Truth, a digital rendering from North Bend High School. And in first place, taking the first place ribbon in 12th grade, we have Solipsism, a graphite drawing from North Bend High School. So congratulations to all of the winners in the various grades. We are now moving on to the top three award winners um, in this exhibition. These award winners will be taking home a cash prize plus a two-year tuition scholarship to Southwestern Oregon Community College. So here we go. The top three overall exhibition winners. In third place, overall, Three Musketeers, a ceramic installation of three different mask fragments uh, from Gold Beach High School. This winner takes home a $75 cash prize and a two-year tuition scholarship to Southwestern Oregon Community College. Congratulations, Three Musketeers. In second place, overall, we have the Ibizan Hound Studies graphite drawing from Bandon High School. The winner takes home a $100 cash prize and a two-year tuition scholarship to Southwestern Oregon Community College. Congratulations. And finally, last but definitely not least, the best of show for Visions 2022 is Untitled, a watercolor from Marshfield High School taking home a $250 cash award and a two-year tuition scholarship to Southwestern Oregon Community College. I would like to thank everyone involved with this. Um, it's, a, it's always a big team effort between uh, Coo, uh, the Coos Art Museum and Southwestern Oregon Community College, both our art department and our foundation's office. And we want to thank everyone for organizing the show, putting together all of the awards, and you know, hosting the show at the museum for the next month or six weeks or so. Please do take the opportunity to go to the museum when you get a chance. Museum is open during regular hours. And um, we are having a soft opening for this show. There isn't an opening reception because of the COVID-19 risk. And so we'd like to invite each and every one of you to come to Coos Bay to attend the museum at some point and see your piece hanging in a museum proudly displayed uh, for the public. And we want to thank all the teachers, all the art teachers at the high school level who worked so hard to get their um, uh, students work into this show and we'll once again be coming back to pick up the students work uh, at the conclusion of the exhibit. So one and all, thank you so much for another fabulous year. Um, Visions 2022 is now on display at the Coos Art Museum and I hope that you really enjoy the show. This is James Fritz signing off. Thank you very much.